Good morning, everyone. Wanted to give you all a quick update on our Michigan rootstock trial that we have here at our Mill Creek Orchard. We're looking right now at uh, the section of the block which is planted to crimp six rootstock. We'll be budding these over to our cyan variety here later in the season. But this just gives you a quick overview of the orchard. Uh, again, these are all crimp six trees and uh, of the beautiful Mill Creek Valley here in the Dalles. Um, one thing that I did notice is that the crimps trees are considerably larger than any of the Michigan rootstocks uh, so far. So let's go down there and take a look. Okay, here we're looking at th the three rows of the Michigan rootstock trial. We have uh, one replicate of five trees in each of the three rows. And um, I just wanted you to just do a quick overview. If you look at the density of the canopy here on these trees and the overall vigor of the Michigan rootstocks, and then you compare it with the crimps six, uh, you can see that there's considerably less vigor at this point in time and less canopy development in the Michigan roots. Why that is, I'm not sure. Could be that uh, that's just the way they grow. Could be a difference in the trees at the nursery, but that's why we're doing this trial, right? So let's take a look at each one. Okay, we're looking at uh, clear trees here. So here's our clear tree. We have each of these uh, varieties labeled here uh, with a PVC stake, and we also, of course, have a plot map. But uh, just wanted to give you an idea of what the clair look like. Um, it's really interesting how these trees look in comparison to the crimps, which is what we're used to. Now we're looking at the Crawford trees. Again, these are Crawford trees from Michigan State University. So our five rep of Crawford. And now we've moved on to Clinton. These are our Clintons right here. One thing I have noticed is that the Michigan State rootstocks here have produced far fewer selectics than the Crimp 6 roots. Now we've moved on to Lake. Here we are looking at Lake. And now the last one is Cass. So here we are looking at our cast trees from Michigan State University. And again, if you look at this at this cast tree, which we expect to be small, and then compare that with the canopy size of the crimp six root next to it, you can see that there's a substantial difference in the amount of canopy development. I'm hoping that'll be a good thing. All right, there's a quick uh, video update of our Michigan State rootstocks.